All right, let's get right to it. I, I know that I'm reading the comments right now. There is a lot of outrage over the killing of Stephon Clark, and it's growing at this hour. And now his family is demanding justice. Video like this sparked the outrage. Look at that and the anger. Aerial footage of officers firing round after round after round at the 23 year old who was unarmed in his own backyard, by the way. The police body cam video was also released, and it's a warning. I, I, or I want to warn you, this is disturbing. Take a look. Show me your hands! Gun, gun, gun! Fire seven shots fire, seven eight down. Show me your hands! I see your hands! His family wants criminal charges filed against the police officers. Just listen to his grandmother. They didn't have to kill him like that. They didn't have to shoot him that many times. My great-great-grandbabies don't have their daddy because they didn't even stop. Why did you just shoot him in the arm, shoot him in the leg, send a dog, send a taser? Why? <laughs> Why y'all didn't have to do that? I want justice for Stephon Clark. Please give us justice. Oh my goodness, and many experts say before you jump in now uh, that it could take a year to decide whether to file charges and protests are expected again today in Sacramento, rightfully so. Well, how many more black men will be murdered over the next year? You know, we'll have to sit here and Google to remember this case because they happen so often. And my question is, you know, everybody's looking at the 20 shots. I'm like, why were there guns even discharged? I was at the Super Bowl this year. Can we roll the footage of uh, the, the, the post-Super Bowl of fun? Now, look at this. Now, there are literally a million-plus drunk people in downtown Philadelphia. Do you see any cops with any guns drawn? I don't see, I think this looks a lot more chaotic than where uh, Stephen Clark was. Uh, uh, Stephon Clark, can we go to the next one? The next picture? Uh, this was in the middle of the day in, an, in a major American city. This is Charlottesville in the middle of the day. These are men with uh, a radical agenda, self-professed radical agendas with AR-15s. Do you see any cops in that picture? No. Do you see anybody trying to, 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 to stop them or accost them? Not Absolutely not. Let's go to the next one. Dylan Roof, now this is the only photo we can get cleared. Uh, he looked like this when they, after he had just murdered uh, nine uh, elderly parishioners. Uh, but except, except that you can't tell here, he's pretty full in this picture because they took him to Burger King uh, on the way to jail. They, they dropped him off at Burger King so he can get something to eat. Uh, there, it's, it's obvious how we handle these things differently. We got a call of a black man that may have broken three windows and he's dead in his backyard. Even if he had broken 300 windows and it's not even decided if he had, who, why are your guns out? I just, they can never explain that process. When you, when, it, when, it, when Eric Garner was murdered in front of a convenience store, why was he, why were your guns out? I don't understand why all these people, Alton Sterling, excuse me, he was the one, there's so many get, get confused. Yeah, yeah. Alton Sterling was murdered in front of a convenience store. Uh, Eric Garner was choked to death for selling quarter loose cigarettes. Why, why are these men dead? And I, there's no explanation. If everybody wants to talk around it, Clive and Bundy and 50 other uh, white males occupied a government building with uh, guns drawn. They, they, the government dropped off bottled water to them. So just, I just wanted an explanation. Um, I mean, you're tearing up. Well, it's just, uh, to me, oh, oh, gosh, the first thing I thought about is the fact that here are two more young black men without their father. And I know everybody's life is different. And, right, because he has two sons. He has two sons, right? And, Al, you talk about your father a lot, my, my, and he's passed away. Mm -hmm. My father is still living, and I just can't imagine being raised without him. And the, the actually, the police officers actually said in quotes, it looked like a gun from our perspective. Oh, that's just it? So every time someone gets shot, we can just say, it looks like a gun. They didn't take his ID. They didn't even know who he was. And car vandalism, somebody in the area, and unfortunately, when police are told to kill or taught to shoot, they're, they're not supposed to maim. They're taught to aim to kill. But for this? But you, it, I, I, I hear you, Ebony, and I feel your pain. Um, you actually told me something earlier. You have someone in law enforcement. Yes, my uncle was the chief of police. Uh, and you brought and, up the train I, to kill. I brought right. that up. And, he, and what he told me, he that he had shot many people before and he has killed some and he has maimed some and yes you are taught to kill and you you're their uh, their training and I'm not a cop I can't say the exact training but from what I'm understand is to to kill them but however in the moment you have reason and you have circumstance and you can look at what's happening and if there's a kid 25 feet away from you who is a teenager 
if you are a trained cop and you have your gun drawn, you have the choice. You yes, you are trained to put to kill them, but you don't have to. And my a lot of times, my uncle, who was the chief of police for many years, 25 years in fact, he said, yeah, when you have that option, and I know, hey, I can just put this kid down and we can walk over there, and they shoot him in the leg, and the kid goes down, and you get shot in the leg twice. You're not picking up your gun. What, what common sense. You're, it's common weapons. sense. Yeah. I know, I know, I know, Ebony. We could continue to talk about this. I hope we yeah. can talk about it more in the break, or maybe we can do an after show with sure. you because I definitely see the pain in your eyes. Thanks for watching Daily Blast Live. Did you know that we are live on YouTube every weekday for three and a half hours? Did you also know that we upload exclusive new video like crazy? Stuff like breaking news, celebrity interviews, viral videos, new apps, new food, new perspectives on the world we live in right as it's happening. So please subscribe and check out some more videos. Go ahead. We'll wait.